Hi, my name is Colin Melton, and today I'm going to describe the pharmacogenomics of glibenkamide and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Glibenkamide, also known as gliburide, is an oral antihyperglycemic agent used to treat non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. It's used in conjunction with an altered diet. It affects the body by increasing glucose uptake by stimulating beta cells of the pancreas to secrete insulin. It's associated with weight gain and also associated with increased risk of hypoglycemia, especially in the elderly, debilitated, and malnourished. Glibenkamide acts by um, interacting with potassium channels. It, uh, it stimulates these potassium channels to open and release potassium into the extracellular space. This depolarizes the membrane and allows calcium to influx in, which activates a series of intracellular pathway pathways, which result in secretion of insulin uh, out of the cell. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is an enzyme. Uh, which is I'm showing you the uh, which works in this metabolic pathway going from glucose to ribulose 5-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is an enzyme which converts glucose 6-phosphate here into 6-phosphoglucose 5-lactone. As a byproduct, an important byproduct, it produces NADPH. NADPH in turn um, uh, promotes the regeneration of glutathione disulfide which will um, convert organic hydroperoxides which are reactive oxygen species into organic alcohols. In the case of uh, individuals that have uh, are taking uh, glomencomide, the drug, they have um, they have increased insulin, so they have decreased glucose in the blood, and they, so therefore they also have decreased glucose 6-phosphate. We're now talking about individuals that have variants in glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase that result in a loss of function. So these people we're now talking about are uh, deficient in their glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase activity. So now we have people that are deficient here in this activity and have less uh, glucose 6-phosphate because they're taking the drug. And so this results in much less NADPH. You have less NADPH, you have less glutathione disulfide, and then you have more of these reactive oxygen species. This is particularly bad in red blood cells because red blood cells are exposed to a lot of oxidative stress, so they have more reactive oxygen species than most other cells. And also red blood cells are dependent on glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase for NADPH production because they lack mitochondria. So the idea here is we have increased reactive oxygen species in these red blood cells, which results in cellular damage and then red blood cell death. And if too many red blood cells die, the patient gets anemia. There are many glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase variants, over 400 to be exact. But only three are particularly important for this drug disease interaction, which I'm showing you here. All three of these are missense mutations that result in a reduced function of the, of the protein product and also a reduced a destabilization of the protein product. And there are two uh, uh, mutations that have African ancestry and one that's Middle Eastern, Mediterranean in origin. Here above, I'm showing you a map of the location of, of the prevalence of these variants in, in different areas of the world. So there's only select evidence in the literature to indicate that there's an interaction between glomencomide and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. There are, in particular, there are two studies, one in 1996 and one in 2004. These are case reports describing individuals who have this glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency and also have diabetes, and they, these individuals start taking glomencomide and then experience hemolytic anemia. I could not find a reference or that's showing a large retrospective case control study showing this interaction, and I think this would be a very useful thing to, to know uh, and a useful uh, study to perform if it has not already been done, and I don't think it has. And so currently the FDA on the drug label suggests that those with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency should, be, should consider using an alternative drug. Um, so we're already there in a way in terms of the pharmacogenomics um, where patients are m or physicians are made aware of the fact that there should be a test for this deficiency. And as far as future directions, I think we need to understand more quantitatively what is the relative increased risk of a patient with this deficiency who is also taking glomencomide of having this hemolytic anemia. And so larger studies are needed than just these case reports. And I want to end with my citations, and I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed my talk.